You can ask from Ephraim. In Osea chapter 4 verse 17, the Bible says, Ephraim is joined to idols. Let him alone. He is no longer connected with me. I cannot continue with him. And there is no way you can conquer if God is not with you. So if you want to conquer, stay connected with God. It is good. It is your connection with God that we direct the right people that you are to connect with. Please, let's take this one very serious. Stay connected with God. John chapter 15 verse 4 says, John chapter 15 verse 4 says, Abide in me and I in you. That's the power of connection. Why? As the branch, you cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abide in the vine. No more can ye, except ye abide in me. Abide in Christ. If you want to conquer, abide in Christ. Stay connected with Christ. In the place of prayer, in the place of commitment, in the place of studying the word of God, in the place of living a holy life, stay connected with God. I told you there's a connection with God, then we have connection with people. Of course, there are lots that everybody you know about that. But it seems we are yet to get it right in the place of connection with God. There are subcategories under the connection with God. You can be connected with His name, you can be connected with His person, you can be connected with His methods, you can be connected with His, I mean, the faith is faith. You can be connected with his ways. Yes. These are some of the connections that is it connection must be a holistic one. Stay connected with God. Now let's look at connect, connection with his name. You see, it is possible for you to pick an aspect of these connections and you will get results. But it must be what? Total. For you to get a comprehensive result. Remember, that leper, the ten lepers, that were healed. And uh, they received their healing because they had contact with Jesus. Don't forget that. That's first phase. But one returned and, uh, to give thanks. That's the power of connection. That's exactly what we read about David. He returned to his father's ship at Bethlehem. Some of us, we've forgotten our Bethlehem. Bethlehem is a place of connection. Bethlehem is a place of, 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 of uh, joining yourself with God. It's a place of encounter. It's a place of refreshing. It's a place of building testimony. If you have not been to Bethlehem, you cannot have testimony to share when you are confronted with Goliath. The testimonies that David shared when he was about to kill Goliath, that made Saul to agree that say, okay, you can go. He gathered the testimony at Bethlehem, where he was taking care of his father's sheep. May I ask you, where are you now? You've lost your connection. You've known to be this. And you see, it's very easy for us to deceive people. Even though we don't intend to deceive them. They've known us to be this. They will still believe that we are still that. But we might have lost connection. Please go back to God. Stay connected with God. It is, I said it is possible to be connected with the name of God. Yes. That is why he said in the book of Matthew chapter 7 verse 22. That song we say in your name we cast out demons. But I will tell them I don't know you. So you can actually use his name. But you must Abide in his name. <coughs> Excuse me. You must abide in his name for you to conquer. I pray the Lord will help us in the name of Jesus. So don't just say, oh, I'm going to the church. Ah, I will get connected with his name. The pastor can pray for you and you get blessings. But everyone might be looking for you. You can get a miracle from man of God. But God might be still be looking for you. I pray the Lord will open our understanding. So you can be connected with his name. But God wants you to be connected 
with his person. With his person. Matthew 5.48 says, Be ye holy as your God in heaven is holy. Be connected with his person. Some of us are connected with his methods. We know how he speaks. We know some of the ways by which he has been speaking with us. But if you are not connected with his persons, that might not be effective. I pray the Lord will help us in the name of Jesus. What of his methods? Remember Samson. Samson's method is to rise and fight the Philistine. But when he seen and the power of God left him in Judges chapter 16 verse 20, Judges chapter, uh, chapter 16 verse 20, the Bible say, and so he awoke out of his sleep and said, I will go out as at other times. Your connections will not be based on as at other times. You must renew your connection. Oh my. If you have data on your phone and you don't subscribe, you will be disconnected. And if you don't have connection, you cannot browse even if you have good phone. If you have credit on your phone and you don't subscribe deliberately, you won't have access to data. So we must take conscious effort to renew our connection with God.